I love listening to TV dinners. Miles Davis, TV dinners. They came into State College and they swept the place. I've interviewed people before for my paper, and I'll ask them about, you know, like, uh, the fire that, that was on Allen Street the other week, and they'll just start talking about the TV dinners. We like to, we like to make street fires often. It'll just get there somehow. The conversation always gets back to TV dinners. And let me tell you why. It's because the TV dinners, as good as they were, as big of a name they gave to say college, yes. ultimately they left us. They did. Tragedy has struck State College as Dan and Turner of TV Dinners are no longer on speaking terms. First you get an idea, and then he takes that idea and he does something totally different with it, and then he thinks it's his idea, and then you, you try to dial it back, but then, then it doesn't, you know, it's his idea at that point, but it's not because I came up with it, and then, and then you're like cooking, flipping pot pies, uh, because like, you know, I grew facial hair and he didn't, and that just was a big rift for us. Uh, I feel like I was, it was really carrying the team, and so, um, when we split, it's just been kind of a relief, you know, just kind of shedding the dead weight, as it were. Just oh, dead really? Dead oh, okay, yeah, uh-huh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah how really. many How many number one hits have you had in the past, uh, seven years? Um. Yeah, before TV dinners, the State College music scene was nothing. When I'm 13 years old, I'm sitting in the back of the theater, oh. and I'm watching old man, Every old time. woman, young child, Every falling asleep, time, the huge dulcimer bands full of boredom and la and da and Some deadly of us love the dulcimer bands! There was a huge protest today from the Dulcimer Union in response to the acoustic guitar toting youngsters. I was actually um, not touring, but just playing at one bar with a band called Asbestos is the Best Us. I was passing down the street, mm -hmm. feeling a uh, hankering for some eggs. I saw the yolk box. I thought, this seems like a good place to get a tasty egg. Mm -hmm. So I rolled in there and I saw Dan was packing up some gear, and I was like, hey, wait, uh, what were you playing? And uh, he showed me some couple licks. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. I showed him some, some riffs. Just, you know, spur the moment. TV dinners, it was on a different realm. I don't care if they played on a roof. I don't care what they did, because the music, it was just 10 times better than the Beatles, the Doors, anyone, honestly. It's incredible. <laughs> it was incredible! You hear them and everything. Remember at the end of a uh, train going nowhere. End off with that little guitar look. They end on C. C. You hear C's all the time now. Remember Teenage Dream, the only Katy Perry song that matters? No, 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 how it starts off like that? That's, that's Turner. That's Turner. We listen to the TV dinners all the time, you know? Me, my moms, my dads, my sons, my boys. We all listen to them. They're their own, they, they made their own lane, you know? They just carved out their own thing, and they've done it, and they've done it so well, and they've done it for years. I was born knowing about TV dinners. <laughs> I mean, my parents were roadies for them. The roadies, they didn't do anything. They just, you know, they were just there. And they were getting paid more than I was. I, I was a bag boy. Come on, I didn't even get tips. Oh yeah, we've gotten into some shit, let me tell ya. They were the leaders of an underground uh, midget wrestling ring. And uh, back then it was totally taboo. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't midget wrestle, if you could help it. We didn't go to the rings. We did supply the cones, though. We did, though, we and, did. There's and that a lot is something of, I regret. That is something I do, I will say. I, I think regret about, a bit. I, th I, I think, think about, about that. I have dreams. Still? Yes. I mean, I've personally never seen them live. I'm too young, which, you know, kills me every day. Born in the wrong era, right? But my parents have told me how great they are. Apparently they're like Cirque du Soleil mixed with every great jam band on crack. You know what? We had a funny, we had a, we had a funny day the other day. We had a funny day the other day. When, uh, when this, when this girl down, down from the hoagie joint that, yep. that we had, Burned we burned down. down. She saw that we had up in the window a venue for the TV dinners, and then she brought 
her whole <laughs> vinyl collection right. of, of bootlegs. Yes. And then we burned those to the ground, we which did. we're trying to make sure, we're trying to clear it out. They didn't have anything recorded for people to buy. Um, so like people had to go out of their way to see them live. Um, so they just, it, it, they really garnered a following. Almost literally, people followed them places to listen to them perform. We decided that we were gonna, you know, do this TV dinners thing solely for the money. So, I mean, I think that was what really defined us. Now I just kind of like to invest in things, lay low and stuff. So I actually just invested in this app called Giblets, which around Thanksgiving time, uh, it lets you know who in your area has giblets available. Um, so you can just get in contact with those people and just get some giblets for your gravy. It's a pretty cool app. You should download it. Yeah. Um, 